welcome to uh, Women Who Crypto. This is our sixth Women Who Crypto. Uh, it's no secret this is my favourite session of all the broadcasting we do, all of our webinars. This by a long shot is my favourite. I get to invite some really amazing women on, super fabulous and talented and people that I really enjoy the company of. Um, so the, the topic for this evening is crypto wealth, the new financial wellness trend for women. So we try and invite speakers on. It means that I get the night off. I can um, ask questions rather than, than answer them. Um, we've got some amazing speakers. So you'll get to meet Kirsty, Leanne and Yvonne. They've all got different backgrounds work-wise, different backgrounds personally. Uh, they came into crypto at different times. They've had different journeys and they just have different perspectives. So it's very informal tonight. Uh, we've just been having a chat before we press record about what people have to drink. Lots of wine, lots of peppermint tea, lots of water. So if you are listening live, go and grab yourself a glass of wine. If you're listening again, uh, probably also grab yourself a glass of wine unless it's probably before midday. So a really quick disclaimer before we start the session, um, the information that we'll discuss is not investment advice, financial advice or trading advice. Um, we don't recommend that you purchase any cryptocurrency. And of course you have to conduct your own diligence um, and or consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. So really tonight is just a bit of a chat. Um, it should hopefully be information, education and inspiration. Um, for those of you listening live, we've actually got quite a lot of people live. So we're not too interactive in terms of speaking verbally it's a webinar rather than a zoom meet so if you've got questions or comments or if anything that the ladies are saying resonates with you please uh put something in the chat um, if you have any questions for the speakers whilst i'm having a chat to them i'll try and keep an eye um, on the chat um, and do pop in the chat where you're listening in from i think we've got people in from argentina some from the uk some from europe um so please put in the chat uh, what your name is and uh where you are from so a quick introduction to me for those perhaps that haven't met me before. Um, so I'll be moderating this evening. My name is Catherine Muller. I'm Managing Director for Daxi in the UK and Europe. Daxi is a crypto exchange that assists people to buy, learn and store cryptocurrency. Uh, this evening is not a sales pitch. We've got nothing to sell you or, uh, you know, promote, you know, or anything like that. It really is just an informal chat um, as education and inspiration. So I've been in crypto for a while now. My first crypto purchase personally was a couple of years ago. Uh, Daxi is my third blockchain business. So I'm very passionate about crypto and blockchain. I spend a lot of my time writing for the press, whether it's crypto publications, fintech publications, banking publications or mainstream press. And I write a huge amount about female financial empowerment. It's a topic that I'm really passionate about. Um, and of course, is why I've chosen the three speakers um, we've got this evening. I have a blog which is syndicated quite heavily, which is called Adventures of a Unicorn, which documents Daxi being scaled up. We're a business in hyper growth. We did more business in the first seven weeks of this year than the last year in total. So we've got some really interesting things going on. It's an amazing time for crypto. Um, we have a bit of a joke at Daxi and with all of our platform users that one week in crypto probably is like six months in, in every other industry. Um, I've won awards uh, for being a woman in crypto. Um, I write a lot about being a woman in fintech. So it's almost unheard of to be female in fintech. You're like an alien if you're a female in crypto. And actually, we believe that this group is the largest uh, group of women who crypto. So if you don't follow us on Facebook, um, please do put out loads of uh, really interesting content. Um, I have a book on Amazon, which I co-authored, which I'm very proud of. And really, I'm just very committed to promoting uh, why I think crypto is interesting and why I think particularly um, that is great for women. So that's enough about me. You can find me on LinkedIn um, and it's absolutely my privilege to be hosting our amazing speakers. So if I could go to you first, uh, Leanne, I don't think any of our speakers are on mute. So hopefully you're there. Can you hear me, Leanne? Is that okay? Yes, I am. I guess Yay, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so look, I'm going to um, talk to each of our speakers individually just because they've got slightly different um, sort of points of view and, and what have you. Um, I think Leanne is one of our sort of uh, speakers that sort of put, bought into crypto longest ago, if that makes sense. You probably have the longest relationship to it. Um, yeah. But could you just start telling me about you personally? So Leanne, over a glass of wine, tell me about yourself, your personal background, where you live, uh, you know, what you're up to, just sort of from a personal point of view, just as some background, that would be. Yeah, I wrote, um, I wrote a few notes down as well so that I could um, keep the script as well because I can get off on a tangent sometimes. <laughs> So um, I actually live in a little sleepy town called um, Little Barfield in North Essex. 
I'm surrounded by paddocks and 14 horses that come to visit us every day. You would love that, Catherine. Do you feed them carrots? Is that why they're coming to see I you? Do. you I do. I do. Good girl. Day. Running over. It is peaceful and tranquil and a conducive um, space to live and work from because I am self-employed and I do work sure. from the home. Um, I am no witness matter anymore, <laughs> rather than say what age I am. You look um, very glam, so we don't, we don't need to know. You <laughs> look very glamorous. Um, I have a 20-year-old American son. Wow. Um, Self-employed, and I've been most of my life. Um, lived in the States for 27 years. And, oh, gosh. Um, and in that world, I was a financial planner and a mortgage consultant. Oh, brilliant. Um, okay. for, yes, for Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and a couple of the more local institutions that we Americans would call mom and pa banks. So these are kind of sure. smaller institutions. Small local ones. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So I got a cross section of everything. And um, okay. I was successful in that field, receiving many accolades and for top producer and rose to the giddy heights of vice president of sales Ooh, well and marketing in those companies that I worked for. Um, in 2016, I left the industry altogether as I had a major shift in consciousness, realizing that the whole industry did not resonate with my core values anymore. Sure. Extortion was no longer my thing. <laughs> Very good. So uh, now um, I returned to the UK in 2017 with new purpose and started to put my innate gifts to work. Um, that I had possessed all my life but had um, really rejected um, until now. I'm quite psychic, I'm, I can really kind of tune into people and all of these gifts that I've had for some time. I'm a heart math coach, hypnotherapist, um, energy teacher and a healer. Um, yeah. As such, my purpose is to guide, renew and educate those that want to align to a greater connection to themselves and a higher consciousness and to provide support and healing to those on that journey. It's not about me and my small box that I exist in, but more about a larger purpose in the world and how I can help others to lead a life of infinite possibilities through one-to-one -one therapies, meditation groups, and workshops. This is an incredible and fulfilling life. I now operate in the world from my heart center and feel a greater sense of connection and purpose. So that is where I am today. And I actually yeah. went through a major transformation from this end down to this end. <laughs> without being rude, I mean, that mm. is a real change, isn't it? To go from banking to, yeah. you know, I, I know you've got a broad Energy. interest across yeah. Yeah. a number of holistic therapies. And I think a lot of the, I think your story is quite typical. And obviously, we, I will, of course, ask Kirsty and Yvonne the same questions. Yeah. Nearly all the women we work with are either self-employed or they've got different interests be they business or or personal and i think there's a real sense right now that crypto is a better way of doing things it's fairer it's more democratic it spreads wealth in a more um in a better way essentially so i think yeah. a lot of people they're looking at crypto and saying this is it's decentralized so you cannot have uh, banks and governments manipulating it so I think a lot of, yeah and I think a lot of women particularly really embrace that and we try you know I think you can wax lyric I could talk to you for an hour and a half about why I think crypto is good for the world yeah. and I think one of the things I see and I know we've got a mutual acquaintance of course in Laurie is yeah. that my my experience I'd be interested to see if anyone listening live agrees a lot of women make um, decisions intuitively so they go they'll say oh, I'll use my gut reaction what yeah. they mean is I don't necessarily just look at the numbers. I look at whether I think the words you use were fits my moral compass or, yes. you know, fits what I'm looking to achieve. And actually there's yes. some really evidence that women actually make better investors. So there's been some really cold data. If you take 10 I women, yeah. men, women often mm -hmm. actually make better decisions because we're better at looking at a broad source of information, whereas men tend to just go a little bit sort of pigeonholed, if you know what yes, I mean. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so I completely you're, agree. Yeah, so if you're watching this, this broadcast, and you're new to crypto, um, I think it's a very exciting time to be part of the industry because like three, four years ago, and obviously you've been in a while, um, Leanne, it was just a bunch of people in back bedrooms, normally male, to be honest, normally men. Absolutely, in yes, yeah. 
Whereas now, I mean, I'm used to that environment. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm quite used to that environment. Yeah. Financial planning is all about yeah. men yeah. <laughs> as well. I mean, so, yeah. I bang the drum. I've been on quite a few podcasts and panel discussions recently about being a woman in fintech. And mm. I've worked for businesses which are 1% female. I've worked in a building where there was 300 people. And I was the only girl. And the toilets were unisex. They were disgusting by about half 10 every day. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, honestly, for our business is our headcount. I know we've got um, some social media... Um, guys on from New Zealand on this call our business is 50% female which is unheard of in finance unheard of in fintech it's unheard of in crypto and I'm really proud of that we have a bit of a joke in the UK that we begrudgingly let the men in uh, men are very <laughs> welcome I can't see any that have sneaked in unless they've sneaked in under an assumed name but they know what fun we have on these sessions so they try and invite themselves in so look I know you've got a financial background I understand yeah. that Mm. Tell me about what made you get, what made you sort of wake up one morning and think, I want to find out about this crypto business? Um, well, I think that um, what normally happens is that um, you start to align to great, greater possibilities, you know, with that shift. And so you no longer need to search for it. It comes to you. So um, I had, um, had um, been friends with Laurie um, for a little while, only for a little while, really. And, okay. and she mentioned the whole Daxi thing to me. And I actually do much, much of my compass with my son, who's 20 years old. He lives in the States in LA. And um, he's a sure. young entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, he lives next door to Johnny Viet at 20 years old. Um, wow. him and his entrepreneurial friends all rent this great big, huge house overlooking the Hollywood Hills. And, wow. um, and um, they're really connected, you know, to what's going on, sure. you know, in, in, in many industries. Yeah. And I called him to get some kind of moral comp compass on it and some feedback. And he was like, mum, sounds good. Um, you know, um, Bitcoin's doing really well. Um, it's going to be the thing of the future. And sure. um, you really need to get it, get it, get on board. Um, you're starting your life all over again. And sure. um, it might be a great resource um, to increase your wealth substantially in a much shorter period of time as well. Okay. So, um, so that it's was awesome. really, so it really all came to me. And my son gave me really good advice. I started to research, which I did. Sure. Um, yeah. And the other person that was really helpful within the company was Ben. Um, at sure. the time, Ben was the, the main go-to guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah. I had called him and um, he gave me lots of good advice and research material, which I did. And um, I actually just invested. I went on my gut feeling in the end. It was the strangest thing. Um, sure. I'm very left brain, having obviously come from that the, the background I have. Sure. And so research was important to me. But in the end, it was my gut feeling. I knew that this would sure. be a great investment vehicle to um, greater possibilities later on. Oh, brilliant. OK, and look, you know, I think there are loads of resources out there. I mean, we at Daxi put out loads of information for, I think the, the phrase someone's just used on the chat live is a newbie. So the vast majority, we've got tens of thousands of platform users, but nearly mm. all of them are new to crypto. So they'd be very much like Leanne, they'd say, oh, like, I want to find out, I've done a bit of homework off my own back, but actually I just need the information in a, you know, an easily digestible format. So I think getting out there and doing your homework is almost the hardest bit, isn't it? So just to have almost the courage to go, I'll go and find out. And I say to people, even if you don't want crypto, even if it's not for you, you need to go and find out about it because this wave of technology is coming towards you. Uh, yeah. It's so far through. I've been in crypto a couple of years now, but we're so far advanced with the banks, the asset managers, the payment companies, the big treasury businesses. This is something new. So it's like saying, oh, I refuse to use a mobile phone or I won't use the Internet. Mm -hmm. Not finding out about crypto is to your detriment. You're not going to buy it, but you need to find out about it because it's going to be part of our futures very, very soon. I'm afraid I was two minutes late to this um, call because I was writing some stuff for the press, actually for um, retailers talking about crypto. So for me personally, it's like stopping a freight train. Um, and my personal opinion, I have put this in the press, is that crypto will make the dot-com boom look like chicken feed. Because look, if someone, said to me, yeah, if someone said to you 20 years ago, um, oh, everyone's going to have a phone. Every single person, even like young kids will have a phone. And it'll be this thing called a smartphone. It'll basically run your life. And mm -hmm. they're about 800 quid each. So even if you have a contract, Basically, the hardware is under quid. And you would say you need to lie down. You need to go and have a good nap. Um, but look, the changes that have made, been made in technology in my lifetime, and I'm sure other speakers and everyone listening have just been, been phenomenal. 
So look, I'm conscious that we're getting to the end of, of your slot and I've taken up loads of questions with, with, nosy, with nosiness. So look, we touched on where sort of crypto is going. What's your opinion of where crypto is going in, in the future? Um, well, um, what excites me about crypto right now is that I believe it is the revolution on the planet. It's, it, it, it is the thing. Um, it's no longer it, it's the thing. And, and there's no stopping it. I'm a visionary at heart and want to be part of that change really do in putting my money where my mouth is and that's the reason why I invested and that's the reason why I continue to invest in it and the Rothschilds and the central banking system have had their day <laughs> sure. we are waking up to the fact that taxation control of our money under the guise of safety and protection which is going on right now with outside of that and outdated systems of operating within the banking industry does not resonate with the all but is set up to benefit a small majority and some of us uh, know them as the one percent or the globalists yeah it's all set up for them yeah so i want to see sovereignty for all people choices no restrictions no fees and an opportunity to move my money as i see fit this is not the case at present so um so yes um i've been able to use my bitcoin um in financing my son's business as well so if anybody wants to know about Bitcoin and what we can purchase with it, I've actually been using it. I paid an attorney in America with it and oh, wow. um, had a wallet. Um, sure. I'm actually financing my son's business, so his wallet wow. um, in America. Oh, yeah. yeah, so um, oh. it can be used in everyday life. And Laurie is still not home yet. She's gone to buy her Bentley today with her Bitcoin. Oh, wow. And sorry, would you mind me asking what your son's business is? What sector? Is that okay? You have to, is that okay? You have to say yeah. what it is? Yeah. Um, he's in marketing and he's oh, also good. created a um, store, you know, these online stores. Oh, sure. Online. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm his silent partner yeah. in his online oh, store business good. as well. So oh. these are many lines of business. I'm just not involved in one, in many lines of income. Yeah, sure. Okay. So look, I've got two, two closing questions for you, if I may. Um, yeah. I would never ask anyone what they've made cash wise, because that's none of my <laughs> business. Would you mind me asking percentage wise? So I think mm -hmm. how long ago you bought roughly? So I know you bought last year um, and what percentage return you've made on your crypto, if that's OK. Yeah, no, there's no problem at all. <clears throat> I invested late um, 2019, I think it was. Um, right. Early 2019, yeah. And I've made at least 30 percent on that. Oh, fantastic. Um, and that's not a DAT coin. That's without the Bitcoin and the Ethereum and the other investments. Um, that I've actually had quite a bit in, but I've actually moved that money around to America right. and, you know, to other resources. Yeah, you've used well. it for payments rather than investment. So right. I've been paying services with it. Yeah, so I've actually been using it. <clears throat> and one last tiny question, um, hmm. a 30 second response if you don't mind. What advice, there's a few people listening that say, look, I'm new to crypto. I'm really early to finding out. What advice would you give someone very briefly that is thinking about getting started? Yeah. Um, number one, go with your gut feeling. Number two, um, do a bit of research. Um, and um, the, the, our program, the DAC program um, and the DAC platform gives so many videos, um, so, so much information, just not on DAC, on crypto overall. And um, as a wizened woman, I realized that information gives us power. Yes. And it's the true. best thing that you can ever do is um, research, um, um, do, do, do your reading, watch the videos and empower yourself because this is the sure. quickest way that you are going to find a resource to great wealth in your life at this moment in time. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Leanne. Look, you're clearly a very well prepared speaker. It's her first time talking for us. So I'm really Thank privileged you. that you've joined us. Thank you for being so well briefed and so professional. Go and pour yourself a glass of wine. So I just <laughs> want to introduce uh Kirsty next if I may Kirsty I'm really sorry I muted you love just because of background noise so Kirsty whilst you're unmuting yourself if you don't mind um so Kirsty joins us this evening so Kirsty is a little bit newer to crypto so uh she as far as I'm aware only got started this year so Kirsty as you can see is a award-winning uh networker and business owner she flies the flag proudly for the single parent business owners which I'll ask her a little bit about and I am super, super thrilled uh, that she has joined us. So uh, Kirsty, I think you're off mute now. Thank you, my love, thank you for joining us. So yeah, just a quick introduction, tell us about yourself, give us a quick guide to, to Kirsty, please. Yeah, hi, um, I, as you said, I'm a single mum to two. I've got uh, a 10 year old and an eight year old. 
Um, I live in rural uh, Gloucestershire in Stroud, near Stroud, um, right. and I'm 44. Good girl. So you don't look it, so you should be proudly, proudly telling people. Uh, very good. And just tell us a bit about your career background, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, I uh, was always in uh, childcare background, so I started oh, off wow. in schools as a teaching assistant um, with uh, really challenging behaviour children. Um, then moved into mainstream supporting special educational needs, um, moved into social work assistant work and um, residential social work with children in children's homes, uh, quite broadly across the country, really, um, because back then when I didn't really have any commitments, I'd quite happy to travel wherever for work. So, um, yeah, that was my background. Oh, fantastic. So, look, I mean, a bit like uh, Leanne in a different way. That's a real change. I don't think I've met anyone else that I know of that has got from education to crypto and presumably you were light years ahead of all of us other poor poor mums that were trying to homeschool because you had some professional background we were all dying and so obviously you uh, didn't feel like it <laughs> so um obviously I know you've got a number of business interests now um just tell us a little bit about your current other businesses if that's okay I know you're a super duper networker so just tell us what you're up to right now Business yeah, well. um, I, um, I I have a, a, a business with you, a Utility Warehouse, so I'm a partner right. with them. I uh, absolutely love that and think this partners so well with it. Um, very, very similar communities, uh, similar kind of focus on making sure that people know what they're doing. Um, so I absolutely love it. And, and again, the same sort of ethos about trying to help people um, help themselves, really. Um, I, yeah, I network massively i lead two networking groups one is a network uh, membership organization the other one is as um, a coordinator of gloucestershire for the single mums in business um and i do I, I am a member of a couple of others as well <laughs> oh, very good and look presumably that flexibility on working for yourself like lots of women is very crucial around family life whether you're single or married or what it doesn't matter one kid ten kids a lot of women I know that are massively successful just say, I, I can't have nine to five. I work longer hours than nine to five, but I just need the, the flexibility. Um, so look, I'm a proud single mum. I'm with someone now, but if anyone else on this call feels much better for losing 17 and a half stone of dead weight, just put, I know what you're talking about, Catherine, in the, uh, the chat function. Current boyfriend, very nice. Old one, not so much. So if you think that's you, just write, yes, Catherine, in the, in the chat function. So I think... Um, Obviously, you're, I know Leanne's got an older son. Your kids are younger, they're about the same age as, as my son. And I just feel very strongly that women are natural networkers. So we naturally get talking to people, you naturally build rapport, you naturally find what someone needs. And if women need a hairdresser or a builder, or you want to know, you know, where in town sells good eggs, like you'll talk to people about it. And I think women network naturally, not in a, I know obviously you're into formal networking, Kirsty, and that's great, loads of people are. But I think we naturally get talking to people and find like-minded folk. And I think the word community came up a couple of times from what you were saying. So Daxi is a community of people. So we have great social media. We've got this very active WhatsApp group. I think it's the most active group I'm a part of. And it's very supportive. So if someone says, oh, look, you know what, I'm based in London and I want to spend 100 quid on crypto, can someone help me? And someone else that's, oh, you know, we've got platform users that have multiple hundred thousands of pounds worth of crypto who's based in Essex or Edinburgh. There's, there's a lot of cross-fertilisation there, which I've really appreciated, which is why, don't tell anyone, this session is probably uh, my favourite one. So obviously, Kirsty, you are quite new to, to crypto in comparison to Leanne, who's obviously been in sort of for a couple of years. So tell me what made you wake up one morning and think, I need to find out a bit more about this and, and how did you do that? Okay, yeah, um, crypto Sorry, had questions. been on my periphery. For, that's right, crypto had been on my periphery for a little while um, because I would have been involved in network marketing for quite some time. And I, I had a, a different network marketing business before I was involved with UW. So. Um, yeah, I it, it, I kind of was aware of it, but back then I kind of thought, unless you had huge amounts of time to research and understand it, then it it really wasn't something that you were, could just get involved in very easily. 
Um, so it's always kind of just been on the sidelines and um, through my networking is how I got involved through Daxi. Um, somebody came along to my group um, and, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm an opportunist. I see, um, you know, if I see things that, that look like it's, it's good to be involved in, then it, you know, it's an opportunity to, to, to take up really. I'm, you know, I'm a big believer in things like that. So, um, and helping yourself. So yeah, that's how. Oh, very good. How got and actually the, um, the FCA put out some really interesting research, which, which we already knew, but they put out some very interesting research last summer, which you can, you know, you can find online. And it said the vast majority of people that buy crypto do it on recommendation referral from someone that they know. So nearly everyone uh, that is a platform user for Daxi has had someone else say, oh, you know what, you know, you should you should look at this. So tell me what excites you about crypto? What made you think? I know you said I'm, a, I'm an opportunist. So that sounds like you're quite numbers based. Uh, I've noticed on the chat there's a few other educators that are listening, which is wonderful. But what made you think, yes, you know, this 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 looks like a good thing to me? What kind of appeal to you? Funnily enough, I'm not numbers based. It's not oh, a okay. strength of mine at all. <laughs> okay. um, uh, yeah, English is my strength. But um, but um, it, for me, it's more about that if it's in plain, if it's put in front of you in plain English, and it's very simple, and there is you know there's there's research to back it then you can um so for me um yeah it was it was simple i've it's in, it's been a really interesting journey i've only been involved six weeks and it's just been um and, and it just it does excite me every day it makes me wake up and and um and uh yeah chuckle at myself that that probably the most unlikely person to be involved <laughs> has got involved and I just absolutely love it yeah oh brilliant and look we have a bit of a joke at Daxi that most people wake up and the first thing they check after they've turned off the alarm clock is not someone next to them if they sleep next to someone it's the crypto what's happened to crypto overnight so it was interesting to hear you say my brain works in this way so one of the things that we find is that a lot of what's talked about crypto is like a PhD economics lecture and your head just spins and I've got a banking background so if I'm thinking god this is hardcore and a bit heavy going what's a normal person gonna think so uh, Leanne obviously she comes from a financial services background Yvonne who we're gonna hear from um, is from an accountancy background so the vast majority of our user base are saying just give me the information in a way that I can access and everyone and forgive me I'm not teaching you to suck eggs because you're the educator Kirsty but we found people will say I love webinars or I love reading it or I love videos or I love social media. So you almost have to pick and choose how you know your brain absorbs the best information. And obviously, having gone through a year of homeschooling an eight year old, I now realise that you cannot force someone to learn in a way that their brain doesn't doesn't suit because you're just on a hiding to nothing. So it's taken me a year and lots of wine to uh, to learn that. So where do you see crypto going? I know it's probably a bit of an unfair question to ask, given you're only six weeks in, but what is in your your mind do you think is the kind of outcome for how crypto is going to pan out in the short term uh, yeah well i can uh, you know you know i'm fairly uh, i'm fairly educated enough to know that um it obviously is not dissimilar to traditional kind of um investment methods and that it's sure. going to have its um its pits and troughs and that's okay um, what I love about it is just the exponential growth that is just so quick in comparison to any traditional kind of form of investing and, and something I've never been able to do. Um, so, you know, for me, um, this has opened up a massive window for me as a single parent um, who, uh, based on kind of like the government's kind of way they run things it, we're often left out of, of of the market we're often capped so heavily we you know we, you were talking about nine to five we literally just can't do nine to five but you know unless you're gonna farm your children out to childcare all the time so for, from my point of view this is just so flexible and i just i love the fact that i can see it physically growing um and and i can reassure people that that's you know that that's a good thing and i one of the things i love about daxi is just that the the credibility um and i've had plenty of people try to sway me on that but um in my six weeks but uh it, it's just i you know i yeah we'll we'll just keep plugging away <laughs> yeah and look i think three four years ago for someone like leanne to say i did this a couple of years ago 
is amazing because the industry today in comparison to a couple of years ago is unrecognizable and look there was a point at which the crypto industry was like the wild west so let, let's just acknowledge that and there's loads of uh, players that have left the industry there were of course scams in every industry and there were a load in crypto so the regulator thank the lord has woken up smelt the coffee the fca is now involved so if you're new to crypto the fca has a list of exchanges that are allowed to operate in the uk so whoever you're looking to use just double check that, that yeah you can find it online you can google it they need to be on that list to be allowed to work with uk customers and the FCA says if you are a retail investor that holds crypto on any exchange other than one on this list, move it. And look, the due diligence is really key. So I actually sit on the board of Crypto UK, which is the trade body. So, you know, it's bizarre to be saying, yeah, please regulate, please regulate. We want retail investors to be safe. But you've got to do that homework. You know, is the exchange we're using, you know, under the FCA, are they doing KYC and AML on their customers? Have they got an A plus security rating? Because look, we all work hard for our money. Us ladies work particularly hard for it. And we want it to grow and we want it to be safe. And there's a whole bunch of questions, you know, you've, you've got to ask yourself. So moving on, Kirsty, you were talking about that you love helping people. Um, you kind of mentioned that you're getting other people into crypto and you've been paid for that, which is wonderful. You're obviously an amazing networker and you've got a client bank, which is fantastic. So tell me a little bit about what coins you purchased. I think you were saying that you'd bought a selection if you've done the bitcoin like on ethereum is that right yeah i've had i've i've done a a mixture i split my investment initially uh between the blue chip bundle and the DAC pack um and then four weeks later decided to invest again and did the same thing um but where i've had the bonuses from uh, my introductions and people mm -hmm. that have bought uh crypto through us um i've reinvested that back in the deck Oh, fantastic. So look, I'm just going to say that again. So you came on board in the six weeks that have probably been the best growth six weeks in crypto ever. So whatever Kirsty does, whatever, if you're going out to buy a lottery ticket, you follow, follow her after that. So obviously you've been paid on introductions, which is amazing. Just tell us a bit about the growth on the crypto that you bought. So I think you said that was January. Is that right? January time, roughly? Yeah. Uh, February, 1st of Feb. Oh, sorry, February, right. And and do you know what percentage you're up, my love, roughly? And I won't ask uh, cash amount percentage. That's all right. Just over 97%. Wow. Goodness me. Yeah. So I'm going to have to super glue myself to you to see what else um, you're doing. <laughs> so look, I know um, particularly with you, we've talked about crypto fitting in. So for me personally, I've, I've done the school run today. Um, I'm going to be up really late working tonight. So I took that time out to have pizza with my kids. We've been up to the swings. He's got a little drone thing that was free with a stationary order. So to me, having a job and an investment ethos that doesn't have me chained to my desk for those really quality bit and people have got kids, no kids, different age kids, but the quality of care for me is really important. So can you just talk about how crypto fits into your, I suppose your ethos around business and kids is, is that I cannot be too intrusive but just kind of how you feel that it's yeah. flexible no is that right yeah no it uh, incredibly flexible um I jump on the nine o'clock call every morning I don't I think I don't think I've missed one yet since I've been involved oh, um when we were homeschooling I would get get them to start late so they would have extra free time and then I'd then I'd start <laughs> them after the call um now I've got them on split times uh for drop off and as soon as I've dropped off Darcy I'm logging on like literally as I'm saying goodbye to her um and then I sit in the school car park and finish off the call so that I can so that I can not miss anything um and I and I absolutely love those calls in the morning because it just keeps me abreast of what's going on um mm. yeah I yeah I love it um and for me it just you it, it's not that you haven't got to do much, but it just feels like I haven't got to do a lot. Um, yeah, like sure. It's yeah. really not hard labor, literally sure. all I'm doing. And I was talking to a friend today and all I'm doing is just telling them my story, what I've done and, and my sure. personal um, view of how my journey has been over the last six weeks um, sure. and, and, and how mad it is. And, and that I just have to keep pinching myself. <laughs> and look, if you've doubled the crypto you bought has doubled in six weeks ish. I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. And look, crypto is a 24, seven, three, six, five market. And the fact we can sort of 
dip in and out. You know, if you said, I'm not looking at this for a week, I'm on holiday, not that we're allowed on holiday, but I've got the stuff going on for three days, I won't touch it. You know, it's not something you have to, to babysit for want, want of a better word, no pun intended. So look, um, last question for you, if I may, just because it's my last uh, last bit of a time that we, we allocated for each speaker. Um, what advice would you give someone who is looking to get started, who is kind of early in that, that journey? Just get started and then do your learning. Uh, <laughs> just don't miss out. Uh, just get on, get involved, get started, and then you can do the learning afterwards. There are so much resources. Um, I've, you know, it's so easy to find your way around the websites and find things to look at. Um, I got someone signed up today um, just from a conversation. And then I've just farmed them to the website. Um, I've sent them, sent them a couple of links to a couple of YouTube videos of ours. And then I've just let them get on with it and they've just done it all themselves. And I haven't even had to talk and walk them through it, which is just crazy. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And look, I think one of the things I wanna just highlight is the biggest misconception about crypto is that you need loads of money to start. So people will say, oh, but I need 40 grand to buy a Bitcoin. You go, no, absolutely not. There are plenty of exchanges you can start with 100 quid. We're, we're one of them. So like you say, um, you know, just get started. And I don't mind saying that when I first got started, my partner's a fintech CTO. When I first got started, I had to ask him. And I was working with technology in City, Deutsche Bank, UBS. I asked my other half, oh, I fancy some of this crypto stuff. Who should I use? Unfortunately, I hadn't met Daxi at the time. Um, it did exist, but I didn't, didn't know about it. And he said oh, go and put 100 quid on a platform. So I started with 100 quid because I thought, oh, if I press the wrong button or I get it wrong or I'm not comfortable, it's 100 quid, I'm not going to lose my house or not be able to afford the grocery bill next month. So yeah, I think they're getting started at a small amount. We see quite a lot of that from our users. They just want to feel comfortable. They want to feel their way around the platform. Um, and about 70% of our business right now is repeat business where people just say, right, great, I'd like to come back and top up my account or buy some more or, or what have you. So look, thank you so much for joining us, Kirsty. Again, your first woman who crypto. I know she's got loads of fans listening in. Um, so look, thank you so much, Kirsty. I really appreciate it. So I will just mute you off. So if you've got any questions for Kirsty, she's going to stick around. Look, you're getting a lot of love on the chat here, Kirsty. You're going to have to come back next time. That's 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 the uh, the reward for doing a good job is having to do it again. Um, so look, lots of love for you on the chat live, which is wonderful. So let me just go back to my next slide. So um, I just want to move on to our final, but by no means last speaker, Yvonne. So Yvonne, sorry, I did mute you, lovey. So you might want to just be unmuting yourself whilst I introduce you. Yes. Um, so Yvonne is very interesting. She has a, a long background across a good number of cryptos um, and comes from a, an accountancy background. So I'm super thrilled that uh, she she has chosen to join us. Um, so again, we're just trying to get people with different perspectives. I think it's really great to have someone that comes from, without being read of on, probably the most traditional financial services background you can have as an industry probably is, is accounting. So look, so I don't tell your story, it's, I want to hear it from you in your words. Uh, we were yakking about your wedding coming up, we were yakking about your amazing diet. Um, so just tell us, if anyone wasn't listening to us yakking as three, four women do at the beginning, Yvonne, just tell us a little about yourself, if that's okay. Uh, so hi everyone, I'm Yvonne, and I was 50 last year during COVID, so I was meant to have a big party and couldn't have it, but there you go. I'm originally from Newcastle, but I've lived near Manchester for over 20 years until about 12 months ago when I moved to North Yorkshire. Um, I'm currently engaged to be married in May this year, and I have two daughters aged 27 and 26. So I trained to be an accountant at 26 when I became a single parent. Um, and early on into my career, I decided that I wanted to change people's perceptions of stereotypical accountants in what was and still is really a very male dominated industry. Um, I set up a business while I, whilst I was actually working and bringing up my children. I used to work literally every hour God sent. And for 17 years, I owned and ran a successful award-winning accountancy practice in Greater Manchester. Um, and at one point, we were actually one of the only all-female practices in the country, which I'm extremely proud of. Wow. Gosh. However, I fell out of love with accountancy um, a few years ago due to all the red tape that's attached to it. And I actually sold my accountancy practice last year. 
But whilst I was an accountant, I also trained in various holistic and healing therapies. And I also trained to become a mindfulness teacher. Um, holistic therapies and mindfulness changed my life in a huge, huge way. So I feel extremely passionate about helping people through my treatments. I also co-authored two mindfulness books last year, um, oh, wow. during COVID, obviously during COVID, which I'm also extremely proud of. Um, and now I, 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 I obviously I, I treat people holistically, but I help people who want to dip their toe in the, in the crypto world. Um, and I help them trade in a secure and safe way. I run private groups to help people on their crypto journeys. So that's a little bit about my background. Wow. I, just like Leanne, a woman of many talents. And again, it is, I think, you know, your story is not atypical. Often women find that a career in finance is not emotionally that rewarding. And one of the things that I found for my work personally with Axi is a lot of financial dialogue is really dry and boring and you just don't want to engage with it. So I don't necessarily talk about crypto. I talk about what it can do for you because those are different things. Oh, this is how much is traded every day. This is how much a Bitcoin is worth. They're interesting and I'm a bit nerdy about them, but actually we deal a lot more with people's stories and what they're trying to achieve. And we actually have a very big audience of coaches. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm forgive me, but I'm not quite sure where you sit on that, but a lot of our um, distributors say, look, I'm from a coaching background because I'm talking to women, men of all ages and trying to say, what is it you're looking to achieve? What floats your boat? What are your short term and long term objectives as a human being? Because then you kind of work back with how much money you need to do that and whether you're fulfilling what you want to do from a financial perspective. So I think um, we've got a lot of sort of people from sort of a coaching background. So look, obviously you're working across a number of businesses at the moment. Tell me when you got into crypto originally and what led you towards it, if that's okay. Well, I was originally, act, I was, it was about 12 months ago and I was originally introduced into Forex trading. So that's right. where I started my journey during, doing Forex trading. But obviously the profits I was making from that, I was being paid in Bitcoin. So I, it just led me naturally into crypto. Um, and although Forex is great and makes consistent returns for me, it's, it wasn't hands-on enough for me. I, I didn't, I wasn't involved enough in it. It's other people making money for me without me having control over that, which is great. And but I wanted more. Yeah, and there's a risk with that, isn't there? Yeah, and I'm a bit of a control freak as well. So I like to, I like to have control. And I like to see when money's being made and how it's being made. Um, and I just fell in love with the, I love the buzz of it. So I just fell in love with that buzz. And like you say, the first thing I do, the first thing I used to do when I wake, woke up on the morning was look at my bank balance. Now I look at my portfolio every single day without fail. Um, right. but, but I did make a lot of mistakes initially. So when I first got into crypto, like you mentioned before, Catherine, that this, that, that, that there was, and there still is a lot of scams about, and I got involved in a couple of scams and I lost a lot of money. Um, I made lots and lots of mistakes, but actually in hindsight, I'm really glad that happened because it's been a really tough learning curve for me, but I've learned so much from it. And now I really help people not, not make those mistakes that I made. I have mantras that I stick by, my team stick by, um, and, you know, and, and that's just how it works for me. But I, I love crypto. I love it. Wonderful. And look, it's such a learning curve, isn't it? And I think, you know, there's always been a sense of, oh, finance is difficult, leave it to the men. Well, actually, sometimes I want to take some control over that. And I think my, you, my control freak, I'm a little bit OCD, I'm a bit control freak. So there's definitely a bit of that in my personality. Yeah. And look, yeah. I, there's loads of trading schemes out there, which are great, but you are essentially on relying someone else to do it. So to yeah. hear Kirsten say, I do look at it every day, but equally, I just know it's going up. Well, mm. the only thing, Dax, we're not a fund, we're not derivatives, we don't do any trading. We do one thing which is really boring, which is we let people buy crypto in their own name or in a company name. That's all we do. So actually, for women that say, this is mine, this is my baby. And we talk to women, I'm not going to um, spill anyone's secrets here. But if I took 100 platform users and said, may I ask what motivates you to invest? Some of them will say rainy day. Some of them will say it's an insurance policy in my marriage because I'm not working right now. Some of them will say I'm saving up for a car or a house or I've got businesses and it's diversification. There are a hundred reasons for purchasing and almost each woman's version is different, which is why I love all the coaches we work with because they say, 
actually I'm just pulling out of people what it is they're trying to achieve. It's not my job to tell them what they want to achieve. It's my job to help them vocalize that. And we have an awful lot of sort of transformational life coaches, which I know is a very broad church. We have a lot of people um, from that. So look, obviously you have been involved probably from everyone in the broadest selection of individual cryptos. Mm. Um, what, what made you think this is a great industry? I want to be in this. This has got so, there's something about this. Kind of what was it that really excited you about crypto as an asset class? coming as you did obviously from a very financial uh, background i think i was taught very early on that to, to spread my risk so for me it was about having a lot of different currencies it's not about just buying bitcoin or ethereum or litecoin it was about and it was about doing research so i've always done my research on the coins that i buy i own sure. about 30 different currencies now wow. um and, and I've made a lot of money on some of them, but but not, I've made money on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And yeah, they're, 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 they're obviously all gradually going up and they're very secure. But when you actually do your homework and drill down into some of the smaller currencies and buy them in high volume, like I bought Cardano when it was 10 cents. Wow. You know, it's, now, it's now over a dollar and I bought like 30,000 of those at that time. So wow. that, that's the sort of, that's the sort of volume that I'm buying. I'm buying small, but I do research um, sure. I research all the currencies, you know, a lot of them don't have anything behind them. Some of them have amazing things behind them. And it's again, like what, what, what one of the other ladies said before, it's about that gut feeling. It's about, and it's about, I think us women, we have really good intuition. And I think sometimes, you know, for me, your gut feeling, it's, it's part of you, it's your soul. And it's about, it's, it's about, you know, believing in that and, and sometimes you get it wrong, but nine times out of 10, I get it right. So, so yeah. So for me, it's about having a broad range. It's not about putting all your eggs in one basket. I trade over various platforms. I have various currencies and I, for me, it's always about spreading that risk. Yeah. Wonderful. And look, for those of you that aren't quite as uh, long lived or knowledgeable, there is touching on 9,000 different cryptos. So um, I'm, I'll ask Yvonne in a minute, for you to have bought 30, I wonder how many you've looked at. So um, every crypto has what's called a white paper. So they put in writing, I'm going to produce a crypto, this is what it's for. And people like Yvonne then say, do I think that's a good idea or not? So one of the reasons Daxi works with a very short list, we actually went with four cryptos, is because I think you used the word, they're the most stable, they're ones that are going up incrementally. So we, we actually, Daxi, work with quite a short list and we work with the ones that are most in demand from the big banks at the moment. Uh, what Yvonne's talking about is some of the altcoins that are up and coming. We are seeking to launch product in that space. So we'll uh, hopefully watch this space. But that research process across 30 coins is quite time consuming. So I think either you commit to it or you say, look, I'll just go with a product that is automatically split. And in our case, that's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. So yeah, would you mind me asking, in order to purchase 30, how many of you turned away to say thanks, but but no thanks? Um, quite a lot, really. I've looked into quite a lot. Um, I've probably more than double that. I've sort sure. of, I've, I've, I'm, yeah. I'm constantly researching. It's something that I just do in my spare time. You know, when I'm in when I'm in bed watching, even when I'm watching TV, and there's something not really that interested on TV, yes. I'll be constantly looking at things. But I do also, I I've always, I do always have stable coins as well. So I've always sure. got stable coins in my portfolio, but, you know, I think it's about looking at the future and at the minute there's a lot of coins that have got gaming, you know, gaming apps behind them. And that's a huge, huge industry. So for me, it's about thinking about what's going to be coming in the future for the future. Sure. And those coins are backed by those sort of things. So it, it, it's just about, that's just what interests me. That's what, that, that, that's what does it yeah. for me. Sure. And look, you're either in the mood to do that homework or you want to rely on someone yeah. else. I totally, totally respect that. So just tell me the direction. You mentioned gaming there. You're obviously working with a, a massive number of coins. What do you see as the outlook for the crypto industry as a whole, very briefly? It's just gone insane at the minute. I mean, I just think it's on the verge of just tipping over the edge at the moment. And it, it's certainly here to stay. You know, 12 months ago, I was I was probably I was a lot more dubious than what I am now. But I think because of all the research I've done, I've learned so much. And crypto is the future. You know, we're, we're going to be paying for everything in crypto 10, 20 years from now. It's just it's, it's not going to go away. And I think 
now is definitely the time to get involved in it. And it's certainly something that women can use to empower themselves, um, you know, and, and to do things for themselves. It doesn't, like you say, you can start with a hundred quid. Some, some platforms you can start with 50 quid and just put 50 pound in there. And you, you know, it's not, it's not a huge risk. You know, one of my mantras is never put in what you can't afford to lose. Start, sure. start small, dip your toe in the water and just have a go and see what happens. Put it in a stable coin. I'd always say start with a stable coin because you're always going to get those increases, but you've also got to remember that you're also going to get the decreases. And I think in initially for me in the beginning, that's what bothered me. When it went down, oh my God, I used to hate it. It used to panic us. But because sure. I've seen it go down so many times, it always comes up back up far better than it goes down. Um, so it, what I'd say to everybody is just, you know, dip, dip your toe in the water and have a go. Yeah, sure. And I just want to pick on a few threads you, you've mentioned there. So crypto is volatile and, you know, no one can deny that. So I appreciate everyone. You've got a background in trading. Um, I know that you still you have some that you hold and some that you trade. Is that right? So you do a bit of both. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to hold my, my, my strategy tends to be more of a long term strategy. So I'll tend to yeah. buy what I think is good. And I'll keep it, I'll keep hold of it and then watch it grow. If it has, then sometimes I might dump it. If, it. if it's not doing what I think it's going to do, I'll dump it before it sort of, you know, crashes. Sure. So I think um, that there are a number of exchanges that are horses for courses. So Daxi is really an exchange designed for people that want to hold. So of course you can sell whenever you like, but most of our users are looking for a medium term, at least hold. Yeah. So there are a number of crypto exchanges that are, phenomenal for day traders they have really sophisticated trading tools which we don't have because we're we're mostly for for uh, as i say for um for for holders and i think what you were saying about we will be paying for everything in crypto when someone says to me and there's always that naysayer in the pub oh why have you done that oh that will never work oh bitcoin's a load of rubbish and you go bitcoin's worth nothing is my favorite one you go i'll just open up this thing called coinbase uh, which literally as we're standing here talking to the weird bloke in the pub says that one bitcoin is 39,671 pounds and when you start explaining to people uh, there's this all the central banks are looking at digitizing their currencies so about 80 percent of the world's banks are looking to use a digitized currency so even if you hate crypto it is highly likely that you will be using it in the near future albeit unknowingly and i think one of the things that crypto has just done an amazing job of is those payment companies. If people say crypto is not coming, you need to look at what's going on. So PayPal obviously has got 320 million users. They're live in 200 countries. They started selling crypto over the summer. There was a point over the summer at which PayPal was buying about 70% of the newly created Bitcoin by volume, which is just, I mean, what that does to the marketplace is phenomenal. And guess what? Prices went up. Um, you know, I always talk about MasterCard. They've got crypto wallet projects. They've got 80 patents in um, blockchain technology. Visa's got 24 patents. It's working on bridging crypto exchanges you know, like, like we have with their retailers. And look, they've got 61 million merchants and it's used by a billion people. So I just don't think Visa and MasterCard are doing it for the love of it. They're doing it because they're backing that horse in the race. So when someone says, yeah, no, crypto will never do anything, you're like, mm, well, unfortunately, you know, Visa and MasterCard used by a billion people. So uh, yeah, I don't think you're right there. And I think almost, I wrote a blog posting where I said, how much more evidence do you need to think crypto is coming? And all the staff at Daxi, we used to always text each other at weird times of day or night on, on WhatsApp to go, oh my goodness, crypto is in the mainstream press because it was so irregular. Mm -hmm. um, and now we don't bother because crypto is in the mainstream press every day. So you'd be like, yeah, we know Catherine, go, go, go and have a nap. It's, it's like half 11 at night. I can't, I'm up working. So look, it's just a great time for the industry. And I think yeah. people say, oh, but have I left it too late? Look, respectfully, Kirsty thought the right time was February. Leanne thought the right time was a couple of years ago. And I'm not going to criticise either of them. It was the right time for them personally. Um, and one of my favourite asset managers is one called Ruffer. And when someone said, oh, you know, how they're particularly focused on Bitcoin, how far has this got to go? You know, is there much gain left to, to come? And they said, we're in the foothills of Bitcoin, which is brilliant. Mm. And I think a couple of years ago, you know, when Leanne bought in, everyone talking about crypto was people like me. They're in the industry. They love it. So, of course, they think it's great. Whereas now you've got investment banks, you know, asset managers, proper city analysts. And obviously you're from a financial background, Yvonne. And those people are saying, 
look, we think Bitcoin is going to 2x this year. We think it will double this year. You know, some people that think, you know, $100,000 is kind of what most people are aiming for this year. Others say 300,000. So I think it's just a really interesting time to say, look, if you weren't comfortable doing it till now, that's fine. We understand that. But there is some, some leeway to go. So look, um, Yvonne, I don't want to ask you for numbers because that's, that's obviously your privacy. Um, would you mind talking a little bit about the kinds of returns that you've seen? I know obviously you're trading, you're holding, you've got 30 coins. Can you just yeah. describe some of the returns that you've seen, if that's okay? I mean, I've, I sort of, I knew you were going to ask me this, so I've sort of had a look today and, and worked yeah. it out. But I've made probably in the last 12 months, 600%. Wow. Out of trading. Um, but like I say, I don't do that much trading. I tend to buy, I research, buy and I hold um, I've, I've just been sort of lucky with what I've bought. Very good. So, and, yeah, I've made some big, big returns. And, and again, like I say, my strategy has always been a long-term strategy. Your wedding's going to be epic. I'm going to be looking out for those yeah. photos. It's going to be, be with crypto. Because my partner, luckily, he's he's really into crypto as well, which is great because it's like, it's a mutual thing that we both love. Um, so our wedding is actually going to be a crypto wedding. It's paid for totally by crypto. Oh, brilliant. And you know what? I am thinking about setting up as a sideline crypto dating because I'm just not convinced if you're really into crypto, you can date someone that isn't. But if you think yeah. differently, uh, please do uh, <laughs> do let me know. So, look, I'm conscious that we're, we're coming up to time now and I could honestly talk to each of our three speakers for like five hours each, uh, ideally over lots of wine. So, look, just briefly, um, you, you're obviously very knowledgeable. You've done huge amounts of research. Um, you've got an extensive portfolio. Again, what advice would you give to people that are just sitting there thinking, this is a lot of information, this is a big decision, I want to get started. What, what advice would you have for them? I'd just say, give it a go. You've got nothing to lose. If you've got £50, £100, give it a go. Um, don't ever, you know, the big things I always say to people is don't put in what you can't afford to lose and always take your original investment out of your profits as soon as you can so you've de-risked. Spread your risk and see where you go. It's definitely not going away this um, and there can't be a better, there's, there's, there's not a better time to get into it than now. Oh, fantastic. And look, crypto was the best performing asset on the face of the planet last year and it's doing the same this year. So, you know, I think, again, when I said, well, just find out, you know, we're not, a, I always say we're not a sales business. We're not even an exchange. We're an education business that happens to have an exchange, uh, which sounds very odd because, of course, we're an exchange, but we're very education led. So look, massive thank you for joining us. I know you are super, super busy. I can see quite a few questions have come in for you on the chat. So I'll just mute you off so I can see you typing away to answer all your many, many fans. So look, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to our speakers. Um, they're not professional speakers, not that you would know it because they have done such an amazing job this evening. Uh, we don't pay them. We don't tell them what to say. I do give them a rough idea of what I'm going to ask. Um, but basically, we just have a good old yak, as you probably saw if you, you joined us early. So thank you so much. I'm so privileged to work with so many really gifted, talented women, particularly those that are so, so generous in sharing their time and their expertise. So a couple of things you can do, uh, whether you're watching this live or whether you're on Listen Again, we have an amazing Facebook group called Women Who Crypto. Uh, we believe we're the largest group uh, for women involved in crypto. So we're very proud of that. Uh, we have huge amounts of uh, content on social media under Daxi. We put out loads of resources, whether it's webinars, you can catch those at events.daxi.com. Um, so look, um, so wherever you are on your crypto journey, um, I wish you all the best. Oh, my internet connection is going. Um, so look, a huge thank you to my speakers, a huge thank you to everyone that join us live to listen. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you're listening again um, and we really hope to see you online soon. <music>